Hello and welcome back to Fitchburg Firehouse 2. I'm back here with Kara Hare, dietitian with hy V, and we're here to make another fun recipe. What do we have today, Kara? That's right. So we're doing black and zucchini tacos. Uh, okay. It's a vegetarian um, taco. It's great with all the zucchini that we have going on right Absolutely. now. Absolutely way more than I need at my house. So yeah. this is a great way to use up those great. zucchinis instead of just making muffins over and over again. Yes, okay, so great. So we're gonna start with the blackened um, part of the blackened zucchini tacos by making the seasoning. Really simple, this whole recipe is really simple. So it goes like pretty simple. quickly. Yep, <laughs> that's perfect. So we're gonna just, I'll have you maybe help me okay. pour these in. So we have cumin if you wanna pour that in. Okay. Yep. And then after that, we have a little bit of chili powder. Do I put all of this in here? Yep, just okay. put it all in there. So it'll be a lot of seasoning. Okay. Uh, and then a little bit of salt. And then lastly is a, just a tiny bit of cayenne. And that's okay. really gonna give it that, that punch of, of spice. And that then just kick. mix that okay. all together. So that's your seasoning once you get it all mixed um, together there. And as you can tell, it's super simple to, to put together, but yeah, it adds absolutely. so much flavor to that, that sure. zucchini. Okay. So now that we have that, we're actually going to head over to the, the oven or the okay. stove. And we already have our sliced zucchini here. I just took a zucchini and sliced it into mm -hmm. about a um, fourth of inch slices. Okay. So Perfect. Bring these over and I'll have you bring the okay. seasoning. And you just want to lay them flat. Oop. And I already have about um, a teaspoon of oil in here and it's okay. at medium high heat. Okay. And what kind of oil are you using? Just olive oil olive or oil, vegetable? Yep. Okay. You could use vegetable oil if you wanted yeah. to. And because we're not cooking meat, the zucchini cooks really, really fast. Sure. So you really only need to have it on the one side about four minutes. Okay. And then the other side for another four minutes. Or okay. So. And then, I'm and then just, you're just going to put half of the seasoning okay. over, kind of sprinkle over. It doesn't have to be perfect. There'll be some that have more seasoning sure. than others. But you're doing great there. Hey. Looks good. I found my I found my new talent. That's right. And if you like a little more spice or heat, mm -hmm. you can add more cayenne, you can add more okay. chili powder. So it's really up to your preference on sure. heat wise. So if you have kids in the that you're wanting to cook for, maybe tame down the yeah. spice a little bit. Exactly. But otherwise we'll just let that sit. You really want to black in the bottom and cook the bottom and okay. then you just flip it over. So it's really about letting it rest and not really touching it. Okay, you just have to walk away. That's right, we're just hard Leave to do. It. Yes, it is, <laughs> it, it can be. So we're gonna add uh, the corn, black beans, and we're gonna cut up a red onion. Okay. Uh, we'll cook the red onion and the corn first. This is sweet corn, by the way. Super okay. fresh and good right now in awesome. season. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, but if you don't have sweet corn in season or you don't have any around, you can use mm -hmm. frozen corn okay. as well. Uh, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'll switch you spots. Okay. Take the knife here. And I'll show you just a little bit of how I like to cut a red onion. Uh, a lot of times I see people uh, kind of butchering an onion. So an easy and fast way to do it uh, is just cutting off the, the end, not the root end, but the other end cutting it in half. And then that makes it really easy to take off yeah. that, that outer peel. So I, really I know like I struggle that. with onions. It they can to, be a struggle. And yeah. then when you start crying because they're uh, so potent, then it adds to the mix, right? Absolutely. Uh, all right. And then this is, you just hold on both sides and cut to the root, but not all the way through. Okay. So it's still kind of holding it together. Yep. And we're going to do diced um, onions. So that's why I cut all the way um, kind of diced pieces. And then okay. you're just going to cut the opposite direction. And you're really working with the onion that way. So yeah. that you don't have to do too much cutting. You're doing, it just doing falls apart. minimal cuts that way. Yep. Very good. All right. And there's the onion. So we're going to go ahead and add this to the pan and it's nice that the seasoning is already left over mm -hmm. uh, from the zucchini so okay. you'll so we don't and we don't need to add any more oil we'll add a little bit more just okay. a tiny bit um, and then you can also add the corn in there too okay a little bit 
Oil. All right. We'll carry that over and get that cooking. And then this will just cook until the onion is tender, so about another four minutes yeah. or so. And you can see how that uh, spice is really picking up. Absolutely. Getting into the corn and the onion. The black beans we don't have to put on quite yet. They're already cooked, so okay. you really just need to heat them through. Okay. So you just use canned black beans? I did, yep. So a little okay. sodium canned yep. black beans. Fantastic. Yeah. And I also have some garlic, minced garlic here. You can okay. mince it yourself. Yep. Or you can just get it okay. from the can. <laughs> Whatever. However easy you want to do it. I'm just going to mix that in, too. All right. I think it's assembly time. Excellent. Let's do that. So you can really add any toppings. I like mm -hmm. to put the, the guacamole just on the bottom and it kind of acts as the glue. Sure. So feel free to use whatever guacamole you like. And if you don't like guacamole, you definitely don't have yeah. to put any on. I'm personally a, a fan of the guacamole though. I'm right. with you. And then we're just gonna layer on some of the zucchini right on top. And you can put on as many as you like. I'll do sure. three for now. And then we're going to load up on the, the filling part. And then just to cut the heat a little mm -hmm. bit more, I have this creme sauce that I put together beforehand. But all it okay. is is a Greek yogurt with a little bit of lime juice and okay. chili powder. Oh, so easy really enough. Simple yeah. To just throw together. And sure. you could just do plain Greek yogurt. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an alternative to sour cream. Okay. It makes a little bit lighter and fresher so absolutely add that on and then the tricky part is the tricky part is always up. wrapping it up yep That's without right. losing your pieces and there you go there it goes you got your black and zucchini tacos fantastic should we take a, a absolutely bite? we'll see how this is that was absolutely fantastic you get a little of everything All the flavors it's there. fresh it's light Perfect. No, it's a delicious, delicious option for the summer. And again, to use up some of that zucchini. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Kara. You're welcome. Thanks for having right. me. You bet. We'll see you again next time.